Earthbed. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to learn about complementary and supplementary angles. In our previous video, we already discussed about angles. So let's have a quick recap on what angles are all about. An angle is the figure formed by two rays that share a common endpoint, which is the vertex. Angles have special names based on their measurements. If an angle measures 90 degrees, it is called right angle. If an angle measures less than 90 degrees, it is called acute angle. If an angle measures greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees, then it is an obtuse angle. If an angle measures exactly 180 degrees, then it is a straight angle. And lastly, if an angle measures greater than 180 degrees, then it is called reflex angle. So that's the end of a quick recap about angles. Now let's discuss complementary and supplementary angle. Complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. It is not necessary that the two angles are next to each other. As long as the total is 90 degrees, then they are complementary angles. Look at these two angles. 35 plus 55 is equal to 90. So these angles are an example of complementary angle. Let's have another example. Suppose you have a right triangle. We all know what is a right triangle, right? Right triangle is a triangle that has one angle that measures 90 degrees. So this is a right triangle. If angle D is 70 degrees and angle G is 20 degrees, therefore they are complementary to each other. Now let's have a quick trivia. The word complementary comes from Latin word which is completum meaning completed. They name it complementary angle since they thought that right angle is a complete angle. Also, be careful with the spelling of complementary. It is not this word with an I. Now the next topic is the supplementary angles. So what are the supplementary angles? Supplementary angles are two angles when add up together will result to 180 degrees. Again, they don't have to be next to each other as long as their sum is 180 degrees, then they are supplementary angle. So for example, you have two angles. The first angle measures 45 degrees and the other angle measures 135 degrees. So if we add 45 and 135, it will result to 180 degrees. Therefore, they are supplementary angles. Now let's have another example. Notice that the line AC is a straight line and it also has supplementary angles. Angle ABD measures 120 degrees and angle DBC measures 60 degrees. Therefore, they are supplementary angles since 120 plus 60 is 180 degrees. So that's what supplementary angle is all about. Just remember that if the sum of two angles is equal to 180 degrees, then they are supplementary. Complementary and supplementary angles sound fancy and complicated, but in reality, their concept is very simple. Again, just remember that complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees, and supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So that's it guys, did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned a lot about complementary and supplementary angles. Also, you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.